Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. The Real Housewives of Potomac. Okay, they gave us the trailer again for the season, and I am hype. I mean, hell, after Atlanta, we're all in desperate need of a palate cleanser. Yeah, them taglines was trifling. Trifling. Karen is still at her Great Falls rental. Ooh, it's only a week until Candace's wedding. Oh, thank God Gabrice's daughters are old enough to tell her about her tacky-ass fashions. I hate her pants, too. I like her girls, though. They're pretty, they know how to put on for the camera, they don't give you an E or a T, and they ain't always up in our face. It's like, you know what, give a little bit of family, but not too damn much. We here for the mess. The mess. Not your boring-ass daughter, Candy. Oh, Gabrice is back with Sherman, and that's her wedding date. Gabrice said last season, I terminate all my relationships is that bad. No. No, because, I mean, did you want to stay with Jamal cheating ass? So I don't blame you. Sometimes you got to go. So Gabrice going to make some cookies for Karen and try to patch shit up. Karen, don't fall for it. Gabrice ain't nobody's friend but her own. But her own. Gabrice. Gabrice. It wasn't that Karen wasn't ready to accept your jokes. It's that they were mean-spirited. It's that you were on the show being a mean girl, being nasty, and now you're trying to say, oh, I was just kidding, just kidding. No, no. You wanted to nail her to the wall so that nobody would focus on your own lack of plot line. Because you're tired of living off of a percentage of the church offering plate. And meanwhile, in open marriageville, I don't want to see a 33-year-old put a blindfold on a 63-year-old. I just don't. Uh-uh, uh-uh, that strawberry shit, no... Oh, hell no, not the whipped cream. Oh, we got to fast forward. And you're going to get that whipped cream all over your... Well, it looked nice. So I wouldn't want to get whipped cream all over it, but it was probably Fashion Nova. Okay, so everything's all happy and we on the baby track. Fast forward to two months later. The bussy grabbing alligator. Oh, I guess they like, look, we're going to run this plot line through the season. This is our chance to get a jump on the Atlanta girls who didn't give a shit. Girl! Oh, then we just gonna go back? Okay, all right. All right, give us a little story, then they take it right back. Okay, that's how you open a season. Take a lesson, Atlanta. Okay, wedding planning shit with Candace. It's all she got for a plot line, so I'm gonna let her have it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna fix this for you, Candace, right now. If your mama wants to give you money with strings attached, stop taking the money. Move out of her house. Look, if you gonna give me something, it's mine. That's it. That's all. You gave it to me. It's mine to do with as I see fit. Because it's mine now. You don't want it. You wanted me to have it. But uh-uh. Uh-uh. You letting her control your ass because you enjoy the free coin. Work for your damn self. See, you can't have somebody saying scathing ugly shit, but oh, I wrote the check. Mm-mm. Keep your check. Keep your check and your mouth closed. Okay, Candace, I get it. You only get one mom, but guess what? Your mom only gets one Candace. She can't have another you. So you're treating her with that respect, but she ain't treating you with that respect. But maybe if you went on and got your own money, you might get a little respect, because it's like, well, hey, I ain't cash and check to first, so go on, girl, go on. Oh, Matt's back, the producer friend. Okay. I guess Karen just ain't got nobody she really gelling with on the cast, so production has to take the bull by the horns. Wait, wait. She has a billboard in Times Square... It looks like one of them electric billboards, so they probably rented a little 30-second stint for maybe $600 for this. I'll tell you this. We got La Dame fragrance before we got She by Charay. Somebody said that they shot this season after they shot last season or before. I, I don't know. I, I don't know, but I'm really confused that Monique is just still big pregnant. I thought she had the baby. Didn't she have this baby? Okay, well, let's, let's go on. Aw, he's letting his daughter paint his nails. I like to see that. <laughs> I know this man did not just say, I think you owe Giselle an apology to Monique. Ah, okay, she got to apologize for putting Sherman's business in the street. But wasn't that arrest public record? Okay, so we have Mr. and Mr. Dixon, and I, I just don't have a fuck right now. I don't. For they is they or isn't they, will they, won't they, you know, y'all got a couple more pennies, great, great. 
I mean, Robin, you've been saying, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Ever since y'all got your little four cent. That was two, three seasons ago. Lord, them ramen noodles on your head. I ain't even gonna talk about it. Why is she in a bathing suit in this bathtub? Y'all can stay home for that. Oh, God, Gabrice then gave uh, Ashley a sex toy for her and Michael to use. But it looks so cheap. I thought it was gummy bears for a minute, and then I was like, oh. Gabrice, that's just tacky. I mean, get something high end. Like a oh my bod or something. Don't be coming in with no bargain basement bullshit. Meanwhile, across town, Karen goes to visit Candace. Oh, God, she done killed the bonsai tree that Ashley gave her. And bonsais are, like, low-key expensive, so that's a damn shame. That really could have been a cute little uh, accent. Oh, okay, so Candace has been having a secret relationship with her half-brother, and now she want to bring him to the wedding, but it's going to piss off her check-writing mama. She should be over that shit by now. We talking about 30 years ago. You getting married about to have your own baby. You know what? It's your wedding. It's your day. If you want your brother there, so be it. If she can't take it, she better give it. Ain't nobody got time for that. That is the one day you slap on a smile, you get along. You ain't got to be running up under his ass. It's going to be 250 people at that wedding. Talk to somebody else. <laughs> oh, my God. Candace said, Dorothy lives and breathes to be critical. And she does. She does. And she needs to be critical of this brassy-ass wig. Looking a greasy fool on her head. Be critical of that, sis. Oh, wait. Y'all both got this shitty brassy red. Uh-uh. It barely works on Candace. You too old for it, hon. You too old for that cheap wig. And that color don't do nothing for your complexion no way. You can do whatever color you want, just make sure you get a shade that corresponds with your complexion. It's that simple. The lipstick is all right, but none of that hair, none of the colors all up and through complement your complexion, none of them. Well, the mama is acting a true ass, but this is giving me a contrived tea. They said, okay, what can we really cook up? But then again, she might be giving it for real. I don't know, I don't know, but it's a good performance either way. I'm not buying it thoroughly, but I'm buying it enough to be entertained. You're giving me plausibility. Yeah, mama, you trying to put that shit on Candace, and if you want to be mad at the pappy, go run him over. Why do you chase after his illegitimate children? Because they're still her siblings. And that's that. Why did you get pregnant by a loser and a cheat? Why weren't you able to see what you had and make a better choice? I mean, quiet as it's kept, he got pregnant before he even married your ass. So you knew what the fuck it was. Go and sit here and embarrass your daughter. Oh, God, and all this, the love of her life. Girl, okay, you had a marriage, it didn't work out. You better go and get you a second and a third love of your life. Every day you got life, every day you should have a different love of your life. Sometimes it's a person, sometimes it's a good piece of grilled chicken with some tzatziki sauce. She said, think about me for one second. Not the checks you writing, but about me. And that's the thing, like, don't write a check if you don't want me to be happy. If you want to throw a party, you throw a party. If you want a wedding, you go out and get married and have a wedding. But don't, don't, mm-mm, mm-mm, this is fucked up. I, I'm getting a contrived tea at this point, because, Lord, she trying to get them tears, but them eyes is perfectly clear. I ain't seeing a hit of redness. That makeup is staying done. She like, look, I got to shoot a scene later today. I can't be fucking this shit up, but I need to be emotional. All right, they gave us a good episode on the first one back. God, I think that we were like so bored and so over Atlanta. We needed this. Ah, the mama said, them crocodile tears don't mean anything. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's get to Portia's baby shower. Let's see if we can get enough time out of that. I'll probably have to do her interview as a bumper. A bumper. I want you to be, 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 beat my ass. Be my ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to put fist to the face. Fist to the face. I want you to whoop. I want you to kick. I want you to be my ass. I want you to be 
Maths. I want you to be, 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 Anyway, it don't matter. So as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.